How can we better develop and manage digital TV fiber optical networks? We are all in the midst of societal changes, and the development of TV networks goes through both peaks and troughs. This pattern is typical for the growth of any tangible thing. The relationship between economic development and network development is very close. When the economy becomes challenging, we should pay attention to the following points in our network construction and development. These are my suggestions for your reference, hoping they will help and alert you. Control the speed and scale of network construction. During economic downturns, even if raw materials and equipment are cheap, it's crucial to control large-scale expansion. Investing heavily in equipment, materials and labor can lead to significant losses if the returns do not match the high input. The funds invested might not yield quick returns, tying up resources and funds without immediate benefits. Observe and reserve. In tough economic times, it's wise to minimize investments, observe the market, and accumulate resources. This way, you can be prepared for the next development opportunity. Investing heavily during an economic slump can be risky because profitability is hard to achieve when everyone is struggling financially. Maintain network stability. With reduced consumer spending, network investors or operators and system integrators may struggle to profit from end users. Therefore, it's important to maintain the stability of TV, broadband and fiber networks with minimal expenditure to ensure continued service. Invest in key equipment and content. Purchase essential equipment and add engaging TV content to retain users without making them spend more. This method enriches the content offering at a low cost, helping to keep the audience engaged. Offer longer subscription periods with discounts. To prepare for tougher times, consider offering longer subscription periods with discounts. For example, instead of charging monthly, charge for two months at once with a discount. This way, you secure more revenue up front, helping to weather economic challenges while offering value to customers. Prioritize high revenue networks. Focus on developing parts of the network that yield higher revenue. For instance, prioritize digital TV over analog TV if digital TV generates more revenue. Similarly, if IPTV systems or FTTH, fiber to the home, are more profitable, focus on those areas. Understand customer needs. Regularly conduct phone or in-person surveys to understand changing customer needs. Only by knowing actual demands can you effectively develop your network, avoiding blind investments and resource waste. Choose reliable equipment brands. When purchasing equipment, opt for well-established brands with reliable quality and good after-sales service. Avoid smaller, cheaper brands as they might not provide long-term support, leading to potential issues down the line. Use trusted partners for purchases. Have reliable partners help with purchasing, ensuring they choose reputable brands. Offer them commissions or rewards to ensure they select the best products seriously. Reach out for support. Feel free to consult or visit my site for further assistance. I'm here to help. Thank you.